Yeah, I, I loosely uh, just call myself a contemporary figurative artist, but I, I guess there's quite a lot of pop art um, aesthetic to it in some in some way. Um, but it's a kind of crossover, I suppose, between maybe painting and uh, graphic drawing. Um, and mom, they're, they're quite small, diminutive images. Um, but I, I was always interested in just the simplicity of an image um, when I was painting years ago. So um, I've, I've carried that over. I think I've, I've become less, less concerned with some of the aspects of what, what makes a painting work. You know, um, the painterliness, as, as it were, but uh, I've still kept with that idea of, of just keeping it very simple, nothing to distract from what the intention of, of the image is, really. A lot of other work I see out there that's made digitally is yeah, it, it's more towards quite clever illustration, quite um, quite technical and complex, and my, my work is is. Uh, extremely simple and uh, almost childlike in some ways I guess I, I, I actually brought one in um, which which is that one it's um, probably easy to show you now uh, the intention of it was um, in the idea the the idea of um, a young woman um, gazing, gazing upon her own reflection um, I didn't want to get into the sort of make it like an illustration of having a mirror there and a chair and everything, it's just simply um, what she's seeing as she's looking at herself. I guess there's a lot of things to think about in our, in our contemporary culture of, with all the selfie craze and uh, the media and everything and the, the way there's, a, I suppose, a pressure to look very glamorous and, and how that's maybe affecting uh, the psychology of, uh, you know, or young women's perceptions of themselves. Um, and I don't think you can really explain all that in an image. You can only really cons consider that and think it would make an interesting image. A, lo a lot of observing, just just people passing by, and you know, strangers, you know, if you go for a coffee in town or something, and, uh, or, or even if you're just walking along, sometimes you think, oh, that'd make an interesting image, or, you know. And, and you don't really remember the details of of the person, just a vague um, something about them, perhaps. I did a few tests and um, one of the things I tried was printing direct on aluminium. Uh, and I, I've, you know, that just felt exactly right for the kind of images and, and the size I wanted. I've got, um, on, I think only, um, yeah, 30 prints so far, but um, I've got like 300 images, so uh, the thing holding me back at the moment is, uh, you know, the finance to um, to print them all. But I, I was, I'd like to see them all together. I think if it wasn't like maybe for seeing David Hockney, uh, you know, what he did on the iPad, that, that gave me the idea. You know, I'll have to get hold of one of those and uh, see what I do. You know, so uh, my own stuff was very different to his, of course, but. Um, I did go and see his, his exhibition, it was amazingly good actually. I think I'd consider working on a larger scale. And initially, this, you know, I'm happy with the scale, but um, I, I guess it's just the next challenge to produce an image that would work in this format, that, that was on a larger scale.